DJ Zula for Knicks Film School as the Knicks and Sixers played this evening. Of course, these two teams played less than a week ago. So let's look at how the Knicks defended that vaunted Harden and Bead pick and roll. In this setup, the Knicks are not going to have a tag man because the Sixers have emptied that corner, which makes the Embiid roll to the rim a bit tougher to handle. But watch quickly as he stays really well attached to Embiid. And this is where his length and his ability to get deflections is really important. He gets his... Hand in there to deflect the ball, and that's going to lead to an awkward, hard in attempt at the rim. So, good start for the Knicks on that occasion. And then a few plays later, similar action. You got the double screen. This time, you're going to have Tobias Harris in the corner. That's allowing Grimes to be your tag man. But then the Sixers have two roll men to the rim. So, Grimes is responsible for Tucker in this situation, which leaves Embiid pretty much wide open for that short mid range shot, which he is elite at making at a high rate. And now the Knicks are going to deploy their drop coverage. Uh, Julius is going to be the low man. So he's responsible for the hard end drive, leaving Tucker open for the layup at the rim. And then again, they're going to run another drop scheme. This time Harden goes the other side. Now Julius has the tag responsibility. Grimes is in pretty good position as the uh, digging in as at the nail. He still allows Harden to kind of get by, leaving Tucker open for that little floater on the opposite side. Now, here's a poor job by Julius. He really needed to come over much quicker to impact the Embiid roll to the rim as the tag man. He doesn't. Embiid has a, pretty much has a free run to the rim, and this is ultimately going to lead to a Julius Randall foul. Now, in the second half, the Knicks did make some adjustments here. So you have Grimes. He's responsible for the, for the tag. Now, watch how quick he's going to come over and impact this roll by Embiid. Now, this is ultimately going to lead to an Embiid mid-range shot, but what, let's see how quick Grimes has come, has come over. Now, he's given up that corner, so if Embiid kicks that over to Harris, he has a wide-open shot, but I like the adjustment the Knicks made in the second half to come over much quicker to impact these Embiid rolls to, uh, to the basket. Again, Brunson is very quick coming over. He's uh, vacating the corner in that situation. This is going to lead to Harden passing over to Harris, who gets a semi-open look at the corner. But to me, this that, that is a much better outcome than a wide-open Embiid shot. And then here, Julius is kind of in no man's land. Um, is he tagging the roller here? He's, he's sort of in between, and, and that allows Tucker to come in from the corner and almost generate that offensive rebound. And just something to keep an eye on. How, uh, Harden got the Knicks a couple of times on this, where if you're going to reach in to sort of maintain contact, stay attached, he's going to pull – and draw that foul. He got quickly here, and like I said, he got another nick earlier in the game, so keep an eye on that. And then finally, an empty side corner for the, the Sixer uh, pick and roll again with Embiid Harden. This just makes it so tough because you don't have anyone tagging Embiid, so he's just going to drift over to the free throw line extended. He's wide open, so Harden can easily lefty hook pass this over to Embiid, but in this case, he does take it all the way to the rim, misses the shot, but it just shows you how difficult this action is to cover. For Knicks Film School, this is DJ Zulo.